So, so first, you know, behind all of it is, yeah. is this global context here, yep. the big banks, big money, the, the biggest people in the world, they have their hooks in this and it's all about money. It's all about their control of those markets. They, they know and understand now how to trade, how to do it, what to do, how to exploit it. So that, that's the first thing. Now, second, do you know who uh, Howard Lutkin is, Jenny? No. He, he's Trump's, he's the co-chair of Trump's transition team. Okay. okay. Howard Lutkin, who they're, they're floating his name out now. He's kind of one of two guys for possible treasury secretary, which, you know, I, I keep up with that stuff. Yes, you do. Here, here's Howard Lutnick here. Yeah. He, he, you know, he's major, major billionaire guy. He's head of uh, Tanner Fitzgerald, big, you know, investment house. Well, he literally is is one of the guys literally that pushes the entire green everything. Like Cantor oh, made no. their most money, made some of the biggest investments, most money on the entire green side in ESG in that whole push. This is the guy that that's had, you know, co-chair of Trump's transition team. He's also the guy, you know, right here. Uh, one day ago, Trump's pick, Lucknett, now top contender alongside the other guy, Bissett, for the Treasury Secretary. So th this green stuff with Trump, and we need to keep a close eye on it because, you know, Elon and Trump broke ties when Trump pulled out in 2016 in the, from the Paris Accords. Remember that? And I, and I have the video of Elon talking about some of that, too, if we want to watch that later. But, you know, now Elon is a major force right. you know, in Trump's campaign. Lutnick is going to be a major guy. We know Trump kind of secedes to the Wall Street. You know, yeah. he likes to pump up Wall Street. He likes to pump up banks. They're all in on this stuff. So I would be I would be pretty hesitant to say that Trump is going to just cut the head off of all the ESG, all the green <laughs> initiatives, all the carbon capture. I, I bet you, I bet you, he doesn't do a complete 180, but I bet you he allows it much more than he did in his first term. When you go back to Trump's first, his first yep. administration, you look at who led the all of the carbon tax stuff. It was the Baker Schultz plan. Okay, so Obama came in, he put in all these emission standards and all yes. these emission things. Well, those guys went in as heroes repealing Obama's own, uh, emission stuff, but they replaced it with all the carbon tax. That's exactly what they did. That's two Republicans that did that. 